Hello YouTube, Hood Ninja again. I know your speakers sound weird with I uh, I have an echo. I'm uh recording under not the best circumstances right now. It's hard to explain, but still I've got to bring you this information real fast. Uh we had a recorded uh C flare today, but I think it was a pretty good C flare. Uh I'm gonna show this to you real quick. It's real time magnetosphere simulation. And uh, we're continuing to get pounded by it. I put a video up earlier, and it wasn't as good as this because uh, I couldn't find a way to record with audio. And uh, this is a makeshift way, if you can't tell, but still, like I said, I had to get it out there to you. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, as you can, I mean, as anybody knows, whenever we got we start getting pounded right here, that's kind of like uh, making a bubble of, or our our. Uh, atmosphere will leg shape and then whenever it springs back to the full 360 it will uh, release uh, s uh, certain frequencies that will trigger or that can possibly trigger uh, some earthquakes so pretty much uh, every time we get hit by a good CME and it just updated right there in front of my eyes and yours as well but Anyway, uh, so pretty much every time we get hit by a good CME, a big one anyway, uh, there's a chance that we'll uh, 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 have seismic activity uh, follow with it. And I want to bring you to this here, and this is the live internet seismic server. Now, as you can see, uh, pretty much everywhere is... Uh, they're feeling it. This is this is pr proof enough. They're feeling it right now. Uh, I'm going to leave the links in the bottom in the description box like always. I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying in this video. <laughs> and I hope, uh, hope it's uh, insightful and informative in some way. Um, bring you up here to uh, Intellicast. Uh, this is going to have... I mean, we, we've already been having... Um, uh, five point uh, and six point and uh, actually uh, last night I believe we had a seven point one right here and of course it got downgraded to a six point eight or something but um, anyway the point is uh, just expect the this uh, this type of uh, seismic activity to just uh, Continue at the exact rate that it is, if not picking up. Uh, matter of fact, here goes a quake uh, 5.0 and another 5.0 um, East Pacific, I believe. And that happened 1505, 21, 1645, and that's both Greenwich Mountain time. So, oh, and then also you've got plenty of a uh, I'm, well, for one, uh, the Alaskan Peninsula has, has been taking quite a beating from all of it also. But uh, down here in California, as you can see, yeah, they're feeling it too. Uh, 3.5 in Nevada, see. So uh, we're going to continue getting hit by, um, by these sea flares and these uh, CMEs. Uh, this right here is a HARP website data sheet. This is a magno the induction magnometer, and right here you can start seeing where it's uh, where it start picking up all the uh, all the extra activity, I guess, as you can say. Now we all know that HARP can create their own activity, uh, but this magnometer over here tells me that HARP is uh, relatively quiet so to say uh right now so um and uh, also see this is what was going on before which tells me harp was being relatively quiet and this is either harp or the sun because they do these uh charts and uh uh magnometers and all these they uh Hold on a second. Well, there it is. All right. Anyway, they 
pretty much look at the same exact things that like say the sun does something that's the same thing harp can do so like i said when what i'm trying to say is as uh, whenever these uh data sheets are showing things it's uh, kind of hard to tell whether it's harp or the sun but anyway i just wanted to put this out uh, out there for you uh let you know exactly what's going on there's probably going to be uh seismic activity uh flare up a little bit uh because the uh, live internet seismic servers showing that uh, it's starting to pick up a little bit everywhere and then of course you've got the real-time magnetosphere and it's backing it up a hundred percent and then also this is a area that, that this uh, the sun, by the way, the area. Uh, this is an area that is greatly covered by this guy, Dr. Keith Strong. If you haven't went and subscribed to this guy or watched any of his videos, I suggest you do so. He is a very brilliant man. He has pretty much taught me everything about the sun that I know. I've had a uh, few... Um, conversations with him here and there small time uh, a few big time talks uh, we're just very informative guy very nice guy uh, he's got the most insightful videos on um, on the Sun and he usually does a daily update so I'm gonna put his link in the description box below below as well I'm sorry this uh, audio recording is messing me up but anyway, that's that. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm going to end this video and probably uh, try to bug out the, uh, the uh, recording problem I'm having. If not, I'm still going to move on to the Madrid issue that I just uh, came across. Uh, that will be covered in the next video, so look for that. I hopefully have it up today. Uh, anyway, thank you and have a good day, YouTube.